All right, guys, so we're going to do a quick little overview on this. If you already watched the other video there that I have on the website, if you're more of a visual learner like I am. So my buddy came over, came over. He'd be having a lot of fuel issues with his car. We actually threw one of his relay kits on it and fixed his problem. But I want to give you guys a little bit more insight how it's wired in and the car. I know we did the other video that you, you'll you see there on the website that I did it outside the car with all the pumps and all, everything. But I'm going to take you outside and show you how exactly it looks. It's a very simple kit. All you do is wire this to here, okay? And then this will go to your pump, okay? You got ground and you got power, okay? You can see it here, okay? Then we have additional ground right there by the, uh, by the pump. And then here is going to be your signal. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the car how it looks so you guys can get a better understanding. This is going to work for everybody. This is a more universal kit. But if you have an RSX, uh, HN, um, EK, uh, EG, they're all going to be a direct plug and play to here. You're just going to see it. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys outside and show you guys my buddy's HN here. And uh, he's the one that uh be having issues with the relay. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you from here and all the way to the front. So you can see here, he has his battery in the back. And what we have is just the ground. Okay. Wherever the hell do you put the ground at? Oh, right there. You guys see it. And then we have the power here. Same thing right here in this little corner. Okay. If you have, this is long enough to run it to the front or back. He just wrapped it up behind this. We have the relay there. Okay. And then here is going to be that switch that I told you. Okay. And then we have the little grommet piece and that goes down to your pump directly. Okay. And then we have the two wires here on the HN. You can see the green one is going to go to the yellow and the black, obviously to the black. You can see here how that looks. Okay. And then the last one here, you got to leave the other two there. And that's going to be the signal that's going to go to your dash in order to tell the level how much fuel you have. So very simple. It's literally a plug and play. You do have to drill the little hole. I show everything on the other video. So I skip, if you skip to this one, go back to the other one. I show way more details. And then, uh, then here, this is more of an overlook to give you guys a better understanding because for me I, I understand it more like this than what i did on the other one but if you did understand another one and you just hear uh, even better you can get a better look here so again all we did took the two wires from the stock plug that were there we sent it to that plug and that's what tells the relay when you turn the key over to turn on the pumps and then here's going to be the power that goes directly to your pump at the bottom you can see there the one with the little grommet okay so very simple and can't make this any easier you can unplug that you can unplug that you can take everything out and there's absolutely nothing to worry about uh cutting or crimping anything as everything is uh, fully plug and play so there you go and this is his car check it out all right so Again, hopefully the video is there, helpful for you guys, and is able to show you a little bit better in details. And it'll be the same thing if you have a dual uh, kit uh, for fuel pumps. So it's gonna be the same concept. Like I said, I explained a little bit more in the other video, but this is just a little bit more overlook uh, since he has it here in his car. And then this is the one that uh, we put on. He had one from Alibaba before. <laughs> Tam. Tam. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh, there it is. Okay, 